Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm Sir Worldwide. This is Sweet Tori Ginky. And this is Hi, I'm Mandolin Reese, the Street Angel. Yeah, we're gonna bring you a subject here that uh, I think you're gonna like this. We were having a little discussion about some superheroes, right? Yeah. So I was watching CN News today and they had uh, this CN top ten heroes. So majority of them are um, the leaders, you know, the future, the in positive people, then trying to give back to the society. And uh, one thing I remember is this group, they support people with cancer, either kids, women, men, like, doesn't matter who has cancer, they can join them. And they teach these people how to kayaking. So you go to like regular place and start on how to paddling, like when you flip the board, how to flip it back. And after a little bit, they go to like rivers. They're really kayaking in the rivers, they're lying, you know, fight for the waters. And in the video, the lady was saying like, they have a group meeting. So the lady was saying, you know what, I had a cancer, I didn't want to leave. Life was like totally disaster. But after joining the society, this group, and feel the society is helping, they, they feel like they want to leave again. They, they were just like, life is different. We want to leave. You know, we still have hope. If someone else can do this thing, and they can do themselves. So these groups been helping back to others and society, I think they are heroes. And especially now these days, a lot of negative things happen, you know, and we need this. We need these positive people in, in our like lives. Like yes. what I've been doing. Yes, <laughs> Promote exactly. Kindness. Yes. I also have on my uh, website, I do a ton of charity work. Um, have you seen any of my videos? Yes. Where I support different charities. I pick one and I put in a, I collect donations from the community. I take it over to the shelter, directly to the shelter. Mm -hmm. And I drop it all off and I film it because I'm trying to encourage others in the community Get involved in your community. Help yes. others. Do random acts of kindness. You know, instead of throwing all your goods in the trash and you know putting stuff in the garbage or giving it to Goodwill, which is a for-profit kind mm -hmm. of uh, business, take stuff to shelters. Help others in your community who are needy, who are down on their luck, who are homeless. You know, so that's something you could do very easily. Definitely. We need more people like Madeline. We need more people like CNN and Top Ten News. And uh, heroes like Ellen. Ellen. I love Ellen's show. She's super positive. Mm. She's always like at the end of her show. She's like, be kind, be positive. Definitely be so, kind. Yeah. So we need more of that, right? Yes. We need to give these people love. That's what they need. Through love, come understanding, and everything else just come to place. So what I want to do is give a message out to people. Since I'm a cancer survivor, I want to give a message out to people uh, in the same arena that I was in, right? It's a nasty arena to be in. I know. I'm okay now, but I went through, uh, hmm, i say maybe 10 months of pure hell. Maybe it was purgatory. I don't know. Whatever <laughs> it was, it was hell, okay? No good. And I found out that doctors are good, but you ain't got to deal with the doctor, everything he says, because some of the things these doctors say is totally yeah, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I feel this way. I think the doctor is trying to kill me, to tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah, really. Because I wonder that too. Like, well, my grandma was sick, and they were, she was in the nursing home, and she had high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, and they're sitting there feeding her fried stuff, sugar filled stuff. Why? I'm like, are you trying to kill her? Is this like a conspiracy? She like, needs to be a vegan, <laughs> you know, like detox, oh, make her body so like. I went vegan. Clean. Yeah, good I job. Yeah. Yeah. And and I good job. Good job. So you've feel gotten stronger. through your situation, right? <laughs> I feel stronger now. Stronger? Yeah, I noticed that, right? Do you well, do I was shakes? Close. Uh, I don't do anything with sugar, but I have a, a great ninja juicer. I love it. And I put <laughs> organic stuff in it. Sometimes it's all green, sometimes it's all red, but that's what I do now. I just bought one of those. Really? I have it in the box. I just bought it like from Amazon. It's Good. Awesome. I have one too. Awesome. Every morning I have my fruits, my vitamin in it, and to keep me like all morning. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah, so I, I decided. Team yeah. Shakes. Yeah. <laughs> I decided to go the rest of my life with no sugar. I cut out sugar as soon as I found out I had cancer because I just had a red little. But still, me being a health nut, I shouldn't have had any. But I had it because I was eating all these cakes and pies mm, and cookies and all that cream. crap and ice cream. They yeah. say sugar actually feeds cancer. It's cancer it's feeds cancer on sugar. Mm -hmm. But back to 
for a second. This doctor, maybe he didn't know he was trying to kill me, but he told me, let's do a biopsy. Huh? Mm -hmm. This is eight months after I had my surgery, right? So I went to Google. And Google said the same thing that my biochemist friend told me. If you got any cancer in your body and you do a biopsy, it's gonna spread. What's next? Don't do it. Chemo, radiation. I ain't going there. Hmm. So I went vegan, okay? And now I'm into all these different supplements, uh, the D3, the zinc, the B12, all that stuff is part of my life. I'm happy with it. Is your cancer gone? It's gone. Because yeah. of diet. Never give up. Diet, well, yes. They say the body is designed to fight off disease and you know bacteria mm -hmm. and yes. it's we have our internal immune system but if we're constantly bombarding our system with bad foods right. stuff filled with you know uh, hormones stuff. <laughs> sugar Dairy. pesticides radiation all this crap that they yeah. put in the food preservatives yeah exactly. herbicides and everything then it's like constantly our immune system's overloaded mm -hmm. yes. it's fighting 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 and it Definitely. the cells eventually just start getting tired and the bad ones are <laughs> growing because yes. you know the immune system's overwhelmed so then you start seeing cancer disease all that stuff yeah, yeah. what are we are what are we what do we eat exactly so if you yep. eat a lot of chicken you might be a chicken <laughs> 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 Cow, it might be a cow. Well, first of all, that's <laughs> one of the worst things you can eat here in this country. Cow, you eat some cow chicken, products? chicken, because all the chicken is shot full of hormones. Mm. People yeah, want they to make them that. huge. Yeah. So if you look at the a lot of the general population who buys the everyday groceries, they're obese, right? There's a huge yeah. obesity problem. Yes. Well, if you look at what are they eating, you know, milk products. So milk, by design, is for baby calves to get fat and grow into big cows, right? And it causes yeah. mucus to be in the body of this milk. Yeah. And so we're the only species that drinks another species milk. Milk. So Why? And they pump the cows full of hormones. Not all, some of them have taken that away, but so you know, there's hormones, and then they feed them GMO stuffed corn to make them fat, and like all this stuff uh, to make the milk uh, grow faster. So for production, and so they're making the people who drink it fatter. <laughs> and unhealthy. It causes all kinds of tumors and cysts in the body. I, I've mm -hmm. largely reduced most dairy out of my diet. Oh yeah, um, I got rid of all of it. Yeah, I've switched <laughs> to like a uh, different kind of butter, um, earth balanced yeah, butter. Ghee butter, I hear it's good and, and uh, whole foods. Ghee. There are a lot of like vegan mm -hmm. food out there. Yeah, you yeah, gotta there read yeah. the labels. Exactly. Um, yeah. For sure. Yeah, the only thing I still eat that's kind of dairy is creamer in my coffee, just a little bit. <laughs> but it's like, I've tried other kinds. I've tried coconut milk creamer, soy milk creamer, almond milk creamer, and they're all gross. They don't work for me, so I'm like, okay, it's my one little cheat dairy. <laughs> I'm a lucky guy. I never had a taste for coffee. Oh, I me just neither. Like, I like the aesthetic of it. Like, I, I'm not addicted to the caffeine. I just like the, the, the flavor, have a the cup taste. of coffee. Mm. So, but I just put a little bit of creamer, and that's my cheat for the dairy. But mm. otherwise, I'd quit buying milk. So, good. Good. You know, That's um, good. That years and soda. You gotta stop drinking soda. It's like the worst Drink poison. Mm. Water. The worst poison ever is soda. So Drink just water. You go to a restaurant. It. Any restaurant you go to, the very first question is asked, "What do you want to drink?" Because they make the money on those drinks. And tea, Bring me if some it's water. sweet, anything that's sweet, you got to beware. It might have high fructose corn syrup, yes. which is horrible for the body. Yes. Um, any of these fake sweeteners and stuff. It's, yeah, I call it's, them crutches. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need any crutches. The best thing you can drink is water with some lemon or, you know, Jimmy infused with lemon. fruit, strawberry, cucumber. Just if you don't like the taste of plain old water, infuse it with fruit or something. But yeah. don't drink soda. Don't drink sweet, fake stuff. Oh, yeah. So poison. Yeah, and I found out through my study while I was studying with this little cancer thing I had, uh, because the doctor told me he did uh, 18 biopsy cuts on me, and one of them was a little cancerous. I shouldn't have had none, but through That's the, a lot with, of with, cuts. Yeah, 18 Weird. tissues. Wow. So uh, turmeric, lemon, and water every morning. Turmeric is something else. It really is. Don't nobody Google it. Turmeric. It's what form awesome. do you buy? Is it powder. Powder form. Yes. And how much do you put in your water? This is like a, a half a teaspoon. So you have the little measure and yeah. You, oh, and you just is it taste? How does it taste? It, it doesn't have a taste. Oh. Yeah. What does turmeric do? 
Uh, it gets into the system and it just cleans things up, just like the aloe vera. Mm -hmm. Like I make my own aloe vera, mm -hmm. you know, I haven't given you about it, I get some. And I drink it, but you <laughs> only drink shots. You can't drink a lot of it. Of aloe vera? Yeah, it's real powerful. It I know somebody drank a whole glass. Really? <laughs> he was in trouble, really. <laughs> so you drink a shot in the morning, drink a shot at night. If you got some health, internal health problems, then drink three a, three a day. But uh, my friend had a toothache. So I said, look, drink some of this olive oil and hold it in your mouth. So turn it up, held it in his mouth. And I was doing something. Uh, I looked at him, I said, uh, well, a couple minutes, all right, uh, swallow it. He swallowed it. He said, I ain't got no toothache now. I said, hey, we keep doing it. Mm -hmm. He did, and he healed his mouth. Olive oil is something. It really is. I'll cut a leaf and I'll, one day I'll show you guys how I do the olive oil on my face and my body. It's mm -hmm. awesome. I showed you. Already. Yeah, you're good at it. Yeah, <laughs> olive is just something wonderful. We got so many herbs, things here that are good for us that we ignore. And they've been fighting this marijuana thing. Well, you guys talked about that a little That's while ago. That's funny. We talked about it and then they legalized right. marijuana yeah. for <laughs> recreational use in California across the board. So anybody can just have under an ounce. Uh, for for your own personal use, which is I think a huge stride just for some freedom. Yeah. Um, maybe the rest of the country will catch on, but you know California is definitely kind of one of those trendsetter states. Mm -hmm. With uh, well, I California's, remember. Oh, sorry. More I'm sorry. Later. I remember three years ago, the AMA, American Medical Association, declared mar marijuana as an herb, but they didn't want the news to get out there. But I remember reading that. Okay. And it is an herb. It is herb. It's from the earth. Didn't the Native Americans have their little peace pipes? Yeah, they always had the peace <laughs> pipe. What do you think they were smoking? <laughs> Tobacco? Mm -hmm. And how many years ago See, was that? They don't know they know what's up. Yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> they don't mess around. They're like, have some peace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But for the young people uh, that are developing their brain stuff, they should me not mess with marijuana. It's not for young people. Okay. So. You, everything in moderation, you know, you can't overdo it. It will hurt your lungs if you mm -hmm. do too much of it. You got to take breaks. You can't get addicted to stuff. Um, just like just like caffeine and, you know, sugar, you can end up addicted sort of to marijuana, just like the, the feeling of it. But you, mm -hmm. you got to take breaks so your body can clear out, I mean, right. the residues yeah. of it. Yeah. You know, you can't and overdo it. It's good to it. just say that because people need to hear that take a break and it is safe to not drive when you're under the influence of oh, weed because don't. it does affect different people differently yeah. and it can be stronger especially how much you're smoking you know it's best to just do it when you're home alone not gonna go anywhere or drive anywhere you're just gonna relax you know that's well, the you don't really way. always want to be alone if you're getting high. You want to have a buddy. Well, you know, as long as you're not going to go driving is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I recommend not driving in under it. Yeah, I agree with you. So, because exactly. you never know. Exactly. So, these heroes that you mentioned, mm -hmm. um, I think we need to invite them to give us some notes and ideas on what, um, how we can help them. Because that's what we want. We want to get the message out. Um, I know they're listening to us because... I was in um, Narita, Japan, mm -hmm. which you know, that's uh, the main uh, international airport for yeah. Tokyo. And the guy walked up to me and he said, as I was going to go to McDonald's over there, get some, that's when I was eating fried food. He said, hey man, he stopped my cart. He said, you the guy, you from YouTube. I said, really? He said, yeah, yeah, you the guy. He said, let's do a selfie, okay. this selfie. You're famous. He said, we love you in Japan. How cool. Yeah. So if he saw that, then I think we need to get the word out to everybody to help people bring everybody together here. Definitely. Because now we have a situation where we have people in America that are opposed to one another based on this know, election so that just went down. That's so sad. Yeah, we got to bring love back into our lives, yes. you know, because the whole world is watching us. Mm -hmm. The whole world is Definitely. seeing what we're doing, what we're saying. So I say, well, I said earlier that we should have the educators have the children write to this man in the White House and help him. Mm -hmm. He needs help. He needs help. He ain't got a Let's clue. Let's work together. He, he didn't even know he was going to win this. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't plan on winning. No, he did not. We just mm -hmm. need massive changes to, to help the lower and middle class because the focus has always been on how can the rich get richer and the profits get higher. But right. You know, you can only feed the rich so long and take away from the lower classes until there starts to be a shift 
and you know they're struggling so hard we're all connected one big family and if the lower classes are not being taken care of appropriately they're going to be sick and overworked and that's going to affect the labor force who are guess what funding the rich and the profits and so it has to be a reciprocal you know there has to be care taken for the people who are struggling and suffering they have to be taken care of so you know what i'm saying those profits we were talking about a program earlier for the homeless you want to just briefly talk about it uh yeah sure um you know, we have ideas for i this. i didn't want to be selfish because uh earlier earlier this year the three of us we got a chance to go to the city council of los angeles and it's uh, huge building we spoke city hall about the homeless situation and then i was told that uh in order to go further to talk with the mayor and all those guys i need a business plan and what have you and as busy as i am i really wanted to do the business plan but i didn't get enough to do it so i'm not going to be selfish i'll throw something out there real quick and maybe to catch fire if it does catch fire i hope it's a big fire and it burns and burns and i get more and more and more people to talk about this okay this country is a sports-minded company, country. And we have four, five major sporting organizations. We have the NFL, the baseball, basketball, hockey, and have the women's basketball. And all together, it's 134 teams, okay? Which means 134 owners. Now, if you take a superstar athlete and he is making, say, well, I got all the figures. I'm not going to get the paper and show them to you, but I'll just tell you. Say he's making $20 million a year, okay? That's a lot of money. The lowest paid player on his team is probably making a million, okay? At the end of every year, they got to find some tax breaks. So some of that money's got to go towards not um, giving it away to Uncle Sam. So if... They look for charities to donate to. <laughs> yes, they do. Well, one guy would say, oh, I got a charity going on over here. I do this. But if we would think uh, to do it as a, say, a large family with the proper board of directors, and I put it all together. You want to ask me some questions? I'd be happy to tell you about it. I got the board of directors for you. It's the best board of directors ever assembled. They're all big time American citizens, okay? Now, these 134 teams have 134 owners. Say each owner put $10 million towards this. Each sponsor would be made to put and there's 60 sponsors. Each sponsor we made to put uh, 10 million. Now you got 4,300 athletes. They're putting whatever they want. We also have all these celebrities. See, we can eliminate the homeless in every city. We can eliminate the, the problem that the veterans have by taking care of them and the homeless. And this can be done through an organ or organized situation where all the athletes come together as well as the celebrities. This is Hollywood right here. The celebrities also have to put money away for tax breaks as well. So basically using that money to support the people who are in the most need mm -hmm. exactly. in our community. And, but we also give them something for them to do, like community work that is very important. We kind of talked about this in an earlier video about the homeless, but you know, they get housing, whether it's a shelter or um, maybe some people might need to go to a mental hospital if they have mental problems, but it's better than them living on a street and on a bench or in a tent, you know, where they're cold. And they, you know, we gotta sort through the people and to get them help, medical care, job assistance, shelter. Mm -hmm. But they're in exchange, the people who are able and can work, they can go out and do community help that's needed. Clean up the beaches, clean up the litter, paint over graffiti. You know, we could have gardens that they, they take care of. And there's just so Definitely. much that they can do to give them a purpose. You know, maybe some of these people need a purpose, something to feel like they're a part of the community and mm -hmm. important. And this is what we provide for them. You know, in exchange, they get taken care of, food and shelter. Definitely. So, yeah, Sweet so Tori mentioned some time ago about the land. People can donate land for growing. Yeah. For these people. And they that gotta food eat. goes to help feed the, the same people that are in need. You know, it's like a reciprocal. Yeah. You know? So my thought was, uh, once I put it together and I saw the figures came out to $2.5 billion uh, project, the food trucks would roll out every day at 11 o'clock in every city with a population of 100,000 plus. And on those food trucks would be team members that would, the board of directors would put this together, that would talk about housing. Healthcare, 
everything they need. Now, every person that's homeless is not going to just say, I want to be part of this. There's some have the type of brain damage and say, you can't help them. It, it ain't the going to happen. But basically, our veterans need help. There's so Definitely. many homeless veterans. They were serving the country, and now this on the street yeah, is, that's why? Wrong. Right, right. You know, we need to help them all. Yeah. So, mm. write to us. Let us know what you feel about this. Maybe we can take it to the top. Because mm. I have assembled a board of directors that, my goodness, yes. Once the athletes see this board of directors, they're going to put their money in there. So Teamwork. 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 That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, I hope you like this. Subscribe. Because we're going to keep bringing it. I hope this catches fire. Because in this city, there's more homeless than any other city in the world. And yes. the tour, the tour uh, vans will never go downtown. Mm -hmm. They don't see that. I was down there yesterday on both sides of the street. Tents, 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 tents. Bad. It's sad. Uh, it's sad. There's and blocks and blocks of homeless people in their tents, and their, it's it, it just seems like a third world country. It's like, are we in America right now? I yeah. can't believe there's so many homeless people. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's really weird. If I have some friends come in town from, say, London, Paris, Japan, I take them straight down there and show them. I took my friend there, my friend from Korea. She was, she was, she was, she was emotional. She was like, why? I thought uh, California, Los Angeles, is war, no, war known place. Why there's so many homeless? What right. happened to it? Right. She was the, very surprised. It's like the underbelly of the city. Yeah. yeah. So we're bringing the athletes together. The, Community. The, the celebrities together mm -hmm. to eliminate this situation in every city in America. Give us your help. Subscribe. Comment. Let us know what we should yeah. talk about next. Exactly. Check Thank out you. my website. Yeah. <laughs>